G'day everyone, Gareth here from Fraser Coast Food Forest. Another fantastic day here in Harvey Bay. Just like most days are. Ready, set, go. Good boy. That'll keep him occupied while I show you something. A quick update on the mangoes. <clears throat> I'm going to turn this sprinkler off. It shouldn't get me, but I'll turn it off anyway. Um, but I've just spent about two hours looking through all my videos to find out what those two mangoes are, because I forgot. The, the label had faded and I couldn't remember what they were. But I've re-labeled them and I know what they are now so I'm going to show you we'll go to this nice big one first which is growing beautifully here and I'll first of all I'll show you the difference because these were bought at the same time planted at the same time just about three or four meters away from each other and um, probably tripled in size since I bought it and um, and just have a look at the condition of this one and then we come over to this one here, which flowered. It's got one mango left. It had 14, then it went down to about seven, and then now down to the one, but I don't think that's gonna stay on either. But have a look at the leaf burn on this, and, and this could be too much water as well. Especially, mangoes like to be sort of dry in the winter anyway. Um, and that definitely got more water, because the sprinkler was always put here. And that would only get a tiny amount because it was blocked by this massive stump here. So I'm guessing that's the reason behind that. But let's show you what they are. I'll show you these mangoes first. I mean, this is covered in little tiny fruitlets. And again, most of them are gonna fall off, maybe even all of them. But this flowered really, really well. Anyway. I found out what the what this one is. Finally, it took me hours. Well, two actually. It's the carabo, caraboa, or the Philippine mango, or the Malay mango. That's that one. Finally, it'll probably fade again. So I've got to I've got to remember what it is. Let's go around to the other one here. And this one is the King Thai or the Maha Chinook, which is a dwarf variety. It's about two to four meters. And um, when this has lost all its flowers and all its mangoes, I'll probably cut these, these off here. Just prune them down, try and get some more growth. See this one, this flower's already fallen off. So we're gonna probably get a few um, shoots coming out of here. Both of these are forming really nicely. And while we're here, let's go have a look at the other ones, eh? So, where'd I put them? Ah, oh, yeah, these two. These ones, I just did a video on. These are the newest mango varieties. They're a collectible variety, the orange sherbet. Um, already getting a bit of leaf burn. Um, heavily mulched. Um, and I don't really want to water these. These have had a good water today, so I probably won't do any watering down here for another week. And the coconut cream, which is probably the one I've been looking forward to the most. And then we come over here, and we have the cotton candy, which was over here. It got hit by a tree that I cut down, <laughs> but she looks good. She looks all right. Got the R2E2 over here. R2E2 is one of my favorite mangoes at the moment. Uh, they're huge. They're, a, they're quite a large mango. They, they're a beautiful taste. Um, they're not as citrusy as, as a Kensington Pride, but 
it's just a beautiful mango flavor but again i haven't tasted some of these more collectible varieties which are probably going to taste a lot better than the kensington pride and of course this one is the unknown variety here when we moved in i'm guessing a kensington pride it could just be a seedling um mango uh we didn't get any mangoes last year because the season was so bad or the, i should say the weather was really bad for the mangoes and um we lost all the flowers so it couldn't produce any fruit the year before the season before we had one it was a little bit stringy um and there's a lot of wild mangoes that grow around harvey bay on nature strips in parks um in paddocks and, and most of them are just really bad stringy um dry kind of mangoes which aren't even worth eating so i'm wondering whether this is going to be uh, similar to that but that's the mango collection so we've got one two three four five six seven eight up near the veggies that's definitely the kensington pride the one up at the veggies they tasted amazing so there's all the mangoes i'll keep you up to date with all of them because obviously with the uh, flower production on this one i think we're going to get a few mangoes on this one and then once we harvest this this will this is going to get a heavy prune i'll take more of the center out and more of these taller branches out and keep these these lower type smaller branches here um, make it more easy to harvest the fruit although i do have a, a picking pole or harvesting pole which will reach right up here but we might lose them to the bats and possums and stuff anyway there it is i finally found out what the two mangoes the two mangoes were kind of happy that's what they were actually because they're another two varieties that i've been wanting for quite a long time um that's it i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and share Give us a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye.